Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Amazon Kinesis. Amazon Kinesis makes it easy to collect, process and analyze real-time streaming data. I'm also highlighting some of the key differences between Kinesis and Kafka. Uh, messaging, both a messaging system. In Kinesis we call them stream and shards. In Kafka we are calling them topic and partition. Uh, there is a seven day limit. There is no limit on Kafka side. Back in December, I attended AWS reInvent 2018 and Amazon is now offering Amazon Managed Streaming for Kafka. So uh, there are a lot more opportunities for, to usage either of the messaging systems. Certainly there are many different use cases for using a streaming data. In this short video, I'm going to be showing a streaming exercise using a Twitter. So we will create a Twitter application. We are going to use a very popular Twitter 4G library. Um, we are going to use the Kinesis producer library to consume the data from Twitter and then pass it to Amazon Kinesis. Amazon Kinesis is going to process the stream. On number four and five, we will have a Lambda function that's going to process the Kinesis uh, received streams and then create a log into the Amazon CloudWatch. So enough of theories, let's get going. First step, let's go through the code using Kinesis producer library. We are using log4j as I mentioned in the slide deck. And here we using that log4j, subscribing to the tweets, and then using the Kinesis producer library, adding the records to our stream. This tweets stream is a stream setup that we did in our AWS environment. So now from this code, let's go to our AWS environment. Here, here we are in our AWS environment. As you can see, I've set up a Kinesis stream named Tweets stream. There are other products that we will talk in some of the future videos. If I go and take you in this Tweets stream, um, these are some basic configurations. I've just created with one shard. Certainly more shard means more dollars and more capacity that you're adding in your pipe. Um, in terms of monitoring right now, I was playing around with, around with it. Right now you can see that the code record is almost nothing. So I'm going to start the project the client library and you you will see that the code records are getting up so let's go let's go to our client producer library now we are back in our client producer library i'm going to go ahead and run this project it's going to just start some of the basic setup it's going to connect with and start to connection establish receiving a status screen and then you will see that it has actually connected with our shard now it's pulling up some of the streams and it, it just started putting record also. Okay, now if you go to our AWS environment, you will now see that the put record count are getting up. So let's go there. So here we are in our put record as you, as you can see this now shooting up. So there are there are more and more records getting added to our stream. So, so taking you back over here, we now have covered this one, two and three. We can see the log Twitter 4J is actually receiving the tweets. We have created a Kinesis producer library uh, client code that's actually pushing the pushing the streams into Kinesis. In the Kinesis, we can see the put records are going up. The next steps are to see the four and five. Now here we are in our Lambda function. This step is pulling the data from Kinesis stream, and as you can see, we have subscribed to this Kinesis stream tweet stream. And what the Lambda function is doing is is pulling the data from Kinesis stream and then it's creating a cloud watch. So now, now here we are in our cloud watch metrics. As you can see, the tweet count metric is what I'm monitoring. I'm using a minute base period and a sum. And as you can see, as I'm hovering over mouse over here, that there are tweets coming in and it's recording in the cloud watch. Just to cover this quick video, we went through these five steps uh, from receiving the tweets all the way to Kinesis stream and then from Kinesis stream showing them in the cloud. Thank you.